Hello, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, November 28th. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Alrighty, so yesterday I was talking about how I saw a fluctuation to the upside on the NASDAQ. Well, that didn't happen. We kind of have a flattish day yesterday. So there was really, a, throughout the day, the market fluctuated to the downside towards the support line, but then quickly recuperated. It did fluctuate to the upside, but then quickly at the end of the day, it closed basically where almost where it opened. So that was a flat day yesterday. Today we've seen a more of a, a downward a fluctuation, which I think it could uh, not be sustained. If, however, if it does continue, to, if I'm wrong, uh, and it continues to uh, push to the downside, initially we have the, my my support at 5917. And if it does break that, I think it's going to fluctuate even a bit lower, but not much lower than eight than 15, 834. So this is your your buffer zone where you can, uh, if it does come down towards this edge, it, it could probably find a, a better position to the upside. Now, obviously, if it does uh, fluctuate and even goes below 15,800, then you no, know, that's already a big, uh, you no know, big move. So if I am right, and like we do have it to flip it to the upside. Let's see if we reach last week's high for the NASDAQ. As far as for the S&P, yesterday it did have more of downward fluctuation. Uh, we have already done um, shown more of that downward pressure. Let's see if 45.40 initially could be that support, but I think we already found that support and perhaps we're gonna turn around and push higher. Now also the Dow is looking to do the same. So let's see if that will uh, play suit along with uh, with it. Now, obviously, we could also see, okay, this is the, the markets already have been fluctuating uh, been higher. This is not sustainable. Uh, can it just you know, lose its, uh, its footing and just its floor and just drop to 35,000? You know, something happened, something big has to happen about that for that to happen. But initially, I just think it's going to continue, perhaps just kind of Tickle away uh, from its highs, and perhaps if it does continue to breach lower, uh, 35 to 80 could be that that internal support level for it, and then push higher and, and at least come back up to yesterday's high. Then crude oil is flattish right now. We did have a, a strong move, movement to the upside during the London session, but now it's you know just idling around 75 dollars. Uh, so you no. Know, Will, will, will we break 75 and come back and revisit 73-ish? Uh, at least if we, if we do happen to, to uh, fluctuate to the downside, we can expect to meet the, the low of, of number 22nd. Then we have NAT gas. Yesterday, NAT gas did fluctuate to the downside uh, currently with the gap down, but if it quickly found some support and it closed in the green. Today, this gap has been closed by today's fluctuation, so the continuation to the downside can be also favored so i'm still i'm, I'm still shooting uh, for yesterday's low so selling that gas gold is right there at my resistance as we speak so if we do happen to violate that resistance let's, let's take the the, the the chart and see where where we could find another volume node so we could probably speculate 228 to 30 2030 2030 uh, for this one, I'm going to raise it to 2030 since we already met the target as we were speaking. So I'm going to bring up my support to 2000. And that's going to be a psychological round number for, for gold support. Now, silver, silver open with a gap down has been closed. Let's see if that will continue to, do, to push towards $25. Copper also, it, it fluctuated lower yesterday coming out of that that you know, ranging uh, zone that we had yesterday. So it did kind of, did a small breakup, but then uh, today it quickly recuperated and so it's trading within last week's range. So 380 could be a target. Then we have Bitcoin that is looking to stay around 37,000. That's the case for Bitcoin. The Euro is looking to push higher and reach 110. Let's see if that would be the case as also with the pound 127 so buying euro buying gold buying the, the pound and that will happen as we are already fluctuating below 103 let's see if this if this around this level will hold or will it just 
fall and continued trending lower to 102.9, 102.80, 102.5. If that happens, you're gonna see a nice bump in the currencies and a nice bump in gold as well. All right, that's it for me today. See you tomorrow.